Zoom recording. All right, um, just some disclosures and everything. Um, I know you guys are all on mute, but for whatever reason you guys decide to get off mute, um, this is recording and we plan on putting on YouTube. So please refrain from using profanity. Um, I'm reminding myself mostly. Um, but yeah, um, happy to see all of you on here. I uh, miss you all dearly. Uh, today's wide. if you guys didn't already see it, it's on the chat, but I'm gonna show it to you right now. Um, one moment. Oh God. So uh, today's workout, we have um, a 15 minute AMRAP. So let's go over the- um, Can you put it closer? We can't really see. Okay. Thank you. That work? All right, so this is a 15 minute AMRAP. I'm gonna go over the first one. Uh, this is with equipment. So the first movement is nine strict pull-ups. Um, after that, we have 15 hand release push-ups, 21 dumbbell swings or kettlebell swings. Um, I'll go over movement standards and everything after we warm up. Um, and then after that, we have without equipment, a 15 minute MRAP of 15 hand release push-ups, 18 bent over backpack rows, and then 21 glute bridges. All right, so that is today's workout. Um, with, that being, with that being said, uh, let me unmute anybody. Unmute all first. Uh, with that being said, is there any injuries that I need to be concerned about so I can help with scaling options? Three, two, one, nothing? All right, cool. So if there's no um, injuries I should be concerned about, uh, then let's go ahead and get warmed up. Uh, for the ones that are outside, uh, let's go ahead and do a 200. For the ones that can't run, let's go ahead and run in place. Can you re-mute everybody? Yeah, let's go ahead and um, run in place for about... Uh, let's, see, mute all. let's go ahead and run in place, and we'll be back after the 200-meter run, all right? The coolest thing is seeing who has actually equipment in their garage. Like Brian got a full on treadmill in his garage. I never knew that. And a rack. Nice, Brian. Hi, Janice. So you don't Funny that you were... No, I don't. You want to hear Betty? I'd rather hear Betty. Her, her voice is way more soothing. Device. Oh, you need a more soothing voice. More soothing voice. What is that background you have? Is it a backpack with a green ball? All right. I'm back. Is everyone here? If so, go in front of your camera so I can see you guys. Hi, Lorena. Hi, Gabby. We got two new additions. Awesome. <clears throat> All right, looks like everyone's here. Uh, back from their warm up run. So let's go ahead and get warmed up. Everyone, step back a little bit, stand up. Stand up, stand up. And then just in place, let's go ahead and get 10 zombie kicks on each side. So zombie kick, you're gonna extend your foot out, touch your toe, do 10 on each side. All right, 
from here, we're gonna go ahead and um, get some knee huggers. We're gonna get a knee hugger, we're gonna get outside knee, and then we're gonna get quad stretch, all right? So let's go ahead and do that seven times on each side. So, outside, that's it. I like your view too, mama. You guys got a nice view. I like Manny's better though, just because it has a palm tree in it. That's the only reason. Oh, Jeff got a nice view too. Nice clouds. Manny still though, got nice sunlight, palm tree. Couple more seconds. All right, from here, let's go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and do some inchworms. Um, before you guys do it, we can go ahead and do an inchworm, and then from the inchworm, we're gonna go ahead and get two push ups. Uh, just so we can get ready for those hand release push ups. So, watch me first. We'll be here. Stand in place. Inchworm out. Two push ups. And then inchworm back. Go ahead and give me 10 of those. 10 inchworms with two push ups at the end. All right? If you can't do push-ups, go ahead and do those on your knees, just in case you're wondering. Hey, Jose, I found this. Uh, it's seen better days, but this is my old NASM book. If you still, if you want to read it. What did, I can't see. It's my oh. old NASM book. Okay. I found it in the backpack that I'm using. I have like all these like fitness books. Nice. Uh, anyways, okay, bye. All right, from here, let's go ahead. Um, quite done, go ahead and finish that last one. Now let's go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and get um, seven squats again. So a squat again for those little You can go ahead and grab your toes, elbows in between your knees. Right here. And then we're gonna extend out. Sit down. Make sure those elbows are in between your knees while you're doing this, right? Ten squat to stands. Lila. Oh, for you. You're good. How many squat to stands? Ten. Ten. Hey, Jose, mute Lorena because she's uh, causing feedback. Or Lorena, can you mute yourself? Hi. 
I have a different background. <laughs> Sorry, Lorena, we had to mute you. You were creating a lot of feedback. Hello. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah, but we need you to mute yourself because you're creating a lot of feedback. We're going to mute. I'm creating the. You're too loud. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, that's me. <laughs> that's, that's you. Yeah. All right, so finish up the last few of those test bunch stands. All right, next we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get a thoracic stretch. So you're gonna get into that squat position like this. And you're gonna go ahead and bring that right arm or left arm up to the top. Hold that for two seconds, bring it down and go to the other side. Do that five more times on each side. If you can't go all the way to the top, that's fine. I used to go right here, so far as you can go, all right? If you can go here, that's fine. If you go here, it's fine. Just go as far as you can go. Try to stay up on those heels. All right, next, once you're done with that, let's get in what we call a tabletop position. You can take your two hands right here in front of you, right under your shoulders, hips, right above your knees. And we're gonna go ahead and do five cat cows. So cat cows, so you're gonna be cat, hooking that chin, arch that back, and then bring it to that cow. Where you bring that chin up, head to the sky. So do that five times, five cat cows. There you go, nice Darren. Good job, Brian. Nice work, Tina. Nice to meet you, Toya, you're doing good. In case anyone's wondering, I'm making burgers for dinner. All right, once you guys are done with those five, um, let's go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and get into a plank position next. All right, um, from this plank position, we're gonna go ahead and get um, a strider stretch. So bring that left foot forward, as so, circular motion, outwards, you can go side to side. Let me face you guys. You can kind of see what I'm talking about. Three, two, one. Slowly switch to the other side. Three, two, one, come out of that. Let's go ahead, we're gonna go back to the left side or the right side wherever one started. And we're gonna go ahead and bring our foot forward into a pigeon pose. So bring that leg up here and then drive up your hips into that front leg. If you can put your elbows to the ground, that's good. If you can't and you need to go up here, that's fine. Three, two, one, switch. Three, two, one, so let it come out of that. Next, we're gonna go ahead onto our back. You're gonna bend that left leg, and then we're gonna go ahead and get 10 leg kicks. 
Ten legs to the top. If you're done with the right side, switch to the other side. All right, once you guys are done with that, oh, Warren's really making burgers. All right, I'll give you people a couple more seconds to finish that off. All right, hi, Michelle. Is that your son? All right, um, so we're gonna go ahead next. We're gonna uh, go ahead and get uh, what we call an egg roll. So we're gonna go ahead here. Both feet out, and you're gonna just roll back and open up your feet. Touch it up. Go as far as you can go, five of those. All right, once you guys are done with that five, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do uh, one of the movements um, that we're gonna do in today's workout. It's uh, glute bridges. So um, I'm gonna go over there, show you guys right quick how to do a glute bridge, right? So you're gonna come back here. You're gonna have both feet together, knees bent to the sky, and then we're just gonna bring our hips to the sky and squeeze our glutes all the way up and then come down. Back up, down. Go ahead and do 10 of those. Squeeze those glutes on the way up. Squeeze that butt. There you go. Nice work. Make sure you breathe. Make sure you're breathing through these stretches and warm-ups. Uh, making sure that uh, you're not holding your breath. I only say that because I tend to do that. So it's a, uh, just a friendly reminder for everyone, even when you're working out, don't hold your breath. All right, cool. Um, how's everyone feeling? Warmed up? Ready to go? Cool. All right. Let's go ahead, uh, start going over movement standards and everything for today's uh, workout. Um, let's see. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, first one I'm gonna go over is the one with equipment, all right? So both workouts, uh, they are gonna be a 15 minute AMRAP. So what that means for the ones that are, uh, don't know what an AMRAP is, that means as many rounds and reps as possible. All right, in that 15 minutes. So we only have three movements for each one. Um, let's see, uh, three movements. So for the first one, for the with the equipment, we have nine strict pull-ups. Uh, not a lot of us have a pull-up bar, uh, but the ones that do have a pull-up bar, I'm gonna show you. So I don't have a pull-up bar, but if you have a squat stand uh, or squat rack like me and a barbell, you could kind of um, use that as like a scaling option for the pull-up uh, bar. So you go over here, um, have that pull-up bar right here, and you're just gonna go ahead and just use your lap to pull up into that. Um, if you're sitting under it, it's a lot easier. If you bring it out here, it's a little bit tougher um, to get into that pull-up. All right, so strict pull-up, if you don't have strict, uh, you can go ahead and kip today. You can go ahead and do um, banded if you need to do banded. Um, if you don't have a pull-up bar, um, that's fine. Uh, I'll go over the no equipment one in a little bit. After that, we have 
15 hand release push ups. Uh, so, for the hand release push ups, you're going to be over here in that plank position. You're going to have your hands right under your shoulders, and you're going to come down here to the ground, lift up your hands, and then push up. Once again, ground, hands up, and up. All right, that is the hand release push up. So, make sure those hands. Get off the ground for those hand release push ups and then push back up. All right. Uh, if you are, if you need to, you can go off your knees. Um, if you're not able to do a regular push up, um, that's fine as well. Um, or you can show them, do you have a box or maybe a chair to show them if they can't go all the way down? They can do that as well. Yeah. Let's see. I can show them. I have a chair in my garage or my thing. You want me to show them? Yeah. All right. So let me see if I can get a good angle. All right. So can you guys see me? Okay. So I have a chair here. So there's a couple of things you can do. So if you want to make it a little bit easier so you can not have to go all the way down to the ground, what you could do is you could kind of come off of a plank off of the edge of the chair, right? And then kind of use that so you're not going all the way down. So that's one way to make it easier. Another option is you can even go off the back of the chair. Right? It's probably easy to better to pop it against the wall so you don't feel so the chair doesn't slip. Right? And even do push-ups that way. Right? Those could be challenging for some of you. So definitely different ways to do this. And even if uh, even the the, most, the bottom of the scale is, you can even just use a wall. Right? So it depends on how much assistance you actually need on your. Um, push-ups uh, or if you even have um, a resistance band uh, oh I do have a resistance band. so if you have a resistance band like this just make sure it comes here wrap it around your arms as so right here so you can see it and you come over here and you just do regular push-ups all right those are uh, scaling options for the push-up. Um, after that, we do have 21 dumbbell swings or kettlebell swings. So for the ones that have dumbbells, if you have a dumbbell, you're going to have a dumbbell like this, right? Basically, you're just going to hinge from the hip, right? And then you're just going to bring it up to the top. Um, if you're not able to go above to the top, we can go ahead and rush in uh, a uh, dumbbell swing, and that's eye level. So I'll, let me show you that. Uh, if you have a kettlebell, you can definitely use a kettlebell. Uh, but those are the movement standards for uh, the equipment. For the ones that don't have equipment, it is a 15 minute AMRAP of 15 hand release push ups. All right, we just went over the scaling options on the hand release push ups. Uh, we have uh, 18 bent over backpack rows. So, um, if you guys saw Coach D's picture earlier, he had a backpack. Um, I don't have a backpack, but I do have. My weighted vest, 20 pound weighted vest. So, what you can do is bend over. Hey, Jeff, mute yourself. What's that? Jeff, mute yourself. Oh, Jeff. You got Thank it? Thank you. Yep, thanks. All right. So, from here, you're just going to bend over, hinge at the hip, and you bring it back down here, and you're just going to row. All right. 18 bent over, backpack rows. Uh, so use whatever you have. Um, if I was to use it, I would use uh, my weighted vest. Uh, you could use a backpack, fill that up with whatever you need to, weights, books, rocks, um, whatever you got. Um, and then after that, we have 21 glute bridges. That's what we did in the warm-up. Um, let me just show you that one more time. 
for the ones that weren't able to see that. You'll be here, bend both legs, feet together, arms to the side, and you're just gonna squeeze your glutes and butt all the way to the top, and then bring it back down, all right? So 21 of those, all right? And just to add, for those who think that's too easy and you have no equipment, you could do those single-legged or you could add a weight to your hip. You want to show them those things? Yeah. And can we see the backpack okay, thing one more time? So, what's that? And can we see the backpack thing one more time? Yeah, I'll go over that in one second. Um, the glute one, you can do a single leg, so bring that right leg here and just single leg it up, as so, and then switch to the other side. Or, if you want, you can take a weight and then just bring it up here, as so. Uh, for the backpack one, um, you could go ahead and use whatever you have, a backpack, weighted vest, or anything that's heavy. And you're just gonna come here Standing position, you're going to hinge at the hip, bring your butt back, back nice and straight, extend those arms out, and then you're going to bring that backpack or whatever you have to the chest, bring it back down. All right, fully lock out those arms, extend it out, and then make sure your knees are slightly bent, don't have it fully locked out, so slightly bent, hinge at the hip, and go. All right, does that work, Jeff? Yeah, thanks. Now, we have kettlebells, and we can do push-ups, but what are we subbing for the pull-ups? We don't have a pull-up right now. He just did. That, that's a pull-up sub? That's what Dustin told me yesterday. Okay. Yeah, the bent-over rows. Okay, so we're going to use... Got it? All right, so it's about 6.31 okay. right now. I'll give you guys about four minutes, get your equipment ready, test out the movements, and we'll start the workout in the next... Five minutes, five, four or five minutes. Cool. You good, D? What's the count again, real quick? Uh, for without equipment, it's 15, 18, 21. So 15 hand release push ups, 18 bent over rows, 21 glute bridges. With the equipment, it is nine strict pull ups. 15 hand release push ups and 21 dumbbell or kettlebell swings. Okay, so nine of the rows, 15 push ups, and 21 kettlebell swings. Correct, sir. Okay, nine, 15, 21. You can watch Betty do push ups on the truck bed from the other camera. Let me see. Where's Miss Betty? I'm right here. I see you. We had a good crowd today. Yeah. It's six o'clock. Yeah, six o'clock probably made it easier. <laughs> if you need to go to the restroom, please go to the restroom now. Go to the restroom now. Um, grab any equipment you may need. Grab some water. Um, that way you will have time to get. Kettlebell swings are American or Russian? Um, do you have any shoulder injury right now? No. Well, I the standard one, but I can still do American kettlebell swings. All right. Let's go ahead and go overhead to the American. Hey, okay, what's the weight? I got 50 on it. Is that okay? Justin's mm. not here right now. Please leave a message. Let's uh let's make sure. Did you uh sign a waiver, sir? Oh, it's 50 pounds. All right. Can you uh drop it down a little bit? Are you good? Yeah, what do you want? 30 or 40? Let's try 40. Okay. Thank you. 
How's everybody else with their equipment? Everything good? Any last questions? Yeah, we're good over here. All right. David, I know you can't really say anything, but if you want to type something with any questions, let me know. Manny, if you guys are good. Lavena, I got you. Let me know when you're ready. Gerard, Anna, give me a shock if you guys are good. All right. Toya, you good? Tina, you ready? You good? All right. Genesee, good? Lila, awesome. Brian, you good? Nine. Michelle, good? Fifteen. No. Nine. Jack, Jack, Jack. Yeah. Fifteen push ups. You want the mat for the push up or you're going to push up there? You're not going to handle it. Okay. You want to have your weight? Just getting my clock ready. Uh, I need to Jeff and uh, Betty's back and forth banter. <laughs> I love you guys. At least it made you smile, Grumpy. That's what she said. I'm not grumpy. Well, before You're she grumpy. was like, when we were muted, she's like, Warren doesn't look happy. All right. I'm making, I'm I'm making burgers. Set for 15 minutes. All right. Everyone's ready to go. Oh, Hold on. Betty wants to see the backpack thing one more time. Backpack. Oh, my goodness. And, what, and, you can watch <laughs> her, and you can watch her. She's got a 10-pound plate in her hand. All right. No, I want to see him do it. I, know. I want to make sure I know what I'm doing. We want to see Warren do it. Warren, they want to see what? you do it. I don't care who does it. There, see it. I do can't it. see you. Doing it right now. All right. Once again, we'll be in a standing position. All right. You're going to go ahead and bend it. The hip. Knees slightly, Knees slightly bent. Ready to go? All right. Let's go. Ready? Can't see you. You can play music or you want me to play? Are you going to play music? Yeah. Okay. Is everyone else, please mute yourselves. That's you, Jeff. All right. If everyone's ready to go. Mute Jeff. Oh, there he is. Mute Jeff. Yeah. You're good. All right, guys. Oh. Um, remember, uh, move with purpose. Have fun. We're all in this together. Uh, miss you guys. And let's go ahead and get this party started. 15 minute AMRAP in three, two, one, go. Where'd the music go? I'll play music on my phone then. Peter, volume 10. Oh, there you go. No music, Jose. Nope. Now, got it? And, uh, there you go. Yeah. Make sure if you guys are doing the bent over rows to try to hinge at least 
close to a 90 degree angle, right? So that you get more of a uh, vertical pull up. <clears throat> there you go, Anna. If you do have a lightweight, you want to make it harder, you can even try doing it with, with a single arm on each side, if that makes it a little bit more challenging. Nice, Tina. Nice hinge. Nice, guys. Nice, everybody. Stay tight, Lila. Abs tight. Try to get your thighs off the floor when you do your push up. No caterpillars. I see you. You too, Anna. No caterpillars. Stay tight. Squeeze your butt. Flex your quads. So yeah, see if you can hinge a little bit more, try to create a 90 degree angle with your body. There you go. There you go. And if you feel like your weights are too light, you can even try doing this with one arm at a time to make it a little bit more challenging. Nice guys. <clears throat> Nice, Lila. Nice, Janice, AKA Genesee. Knock those arms out, Jeff. Arms straight. There you go. Make sure your back is flat. Bend over a little bit more, Elisa. There we go. Yep. Nice work, guys. You want to give a time update, Jose? Uh, time ten update? Minutes. Ten minutes left. Ten minutes left, he said. Ten minutes, guys. Thank you. 
Seven minutes in. Almost halfway there. Almost there. Probably got about five minutes left, right, Jose? About six and a half minutes. Six minutes left, guys. Keep going, keep going. Almost there. <clears throat> More than halfway done. Keep that chest up, Michelle Sun. I don't know your name, but Michelle Sun, keep your chest up. <laughs> Good job, guys. Computer, resume. Time up there, Jose. Ah. Time up there, Jose. What? Time update. Five minutes left. Five minutes, guys. Five minutes. Coming up on the 11 minute mark. We have about four, a little over four minutes left. Keep moving. Don't forget to breathe. Remember, work on that, on those movements. Lock out those arms. Don't round off that back on those kettlebells or those backpack pulls. Make it nice and straight. All right? Stay nice and tight in the core, guys. Stay tight in the middle.
All right, about two and a half more minutes left. Keep moving. Make sure you guys keep that tight core on those movements. That's right, guys. Almost done. Stay in there. If you're almost done with the round, get it done. Nice, everybody. Nice work. Squeeze that butt. Get those hips all the way up if you're doing those glute bridges. Full extension on the hips. 60 seconds. One minute left. Nice work, guys. Keep working. Everybody should be moving that last minute. No resting this last minute. Work, work, work till the clock ends. Should be almost there. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Don't stop, don't stop, almost there. Nice, Toya. Rep him out, rep him out. Oh, 15 seconds now, my bad. Let's go. 10 seconds. Let's go, Tina. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Nice work, guys. Computer, volume two. Nice work, everyone. Air high fives, air high fives. I'll give you guys about 30 seconds to 60 seconds to catch your breath, move your equipment to the side, and then we're gonna do a cool down stretch for the last five minutes, all right? So catch, uh, catch your breath, wipe yourself down, and uh, get a sip of water if needed, and uh, I'll meet you back here in 60 seconds or so to do a cool down stretch. Good job, everyone. All right, everyone, let's get back to our mat or wherever you guys are at. Hey, Dustin, yep. you even lift, bro? Mm -mm. No. It's my body off my bed. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get that cool down stretch now. Uh, before I do that, though, how's everybody feel? You guys are off, off mute right now. You guys feel good? Yeah? Good. Yeah. What was the... Uh, what was the most was good. part of that workout for all of you guys? 
push-ups push 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 suck really bad. The push-ups? Yeah. They last really bad. Then why did you put them in there? The pull-ups? I get better at them. <laughs> yeah. Don't get better by not doing them. Yeah, my uh, my grip was uh, I was losing my grip on those kettlebell swings. <laughs> I thought I told that to my mom. I was like, man, I should take some chocolate. Yeah. Hey, you guys should all watch Lorena speed right now. It's pretty hilarious. Are they? Do <laughs> I thought they were doing goofballs. All right. Hey, get it in. All right, everyone. Let's go ahead and get uh, cool down now. That cool down stretch. Everyone. You probably remute everybody. There's a lot of wind feedback. They're not gonna be here you. Let me go ahead and put everyone on mute right quick. Uh, mute all. Continue. All right. Warren, get yourself off of mute so you can. Uh... Sorry, I'm cooking dinner. All right, we're gonna go ahead, both feet out in front of you. All right. We're gonna go and reach for those toes. Focus on your breathing, slow it down a bit. I want you to slow down your breathing as well. Inhale, breathe in through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Next is go ahead and bend that right leg. Reach for that left foot. Three, two, one. Switch to the side, bend that left leg, reach for that right foot. Three, two, one. Let's bring both feet together this time. Bring those heels to your groin, knees down to the ground as far as possible, chest to the to your feet, into that butterfly. Continue to slow down your breathing. Get your heart rate down to resting as much as possible. All right, both feet out this time. Let's go ahead, right leg over left into that chicken wing. Computer, Ocean Sounds Radio. All right, switch to the other leg. Switch to the other leg. Slowly come out of that one. And we're gonna go ahead and get on our backs. Bend that left leg, right leg over left. Reach under your knee or over your knee and pull that leg towards you. Three, two, one, slowly let go. Leg to the ground, both legs, and then switch to the other side. Three, two, one, slowly come out of that. And let's go ahead and roll over to, the, to your stomachs. I want you to Bring that hip to the ground, chest to the sky, into that cobra. Next, three, two, one. Bring that butt to the sky, head to the ground, into that downward dog position. When you're in that downward dog position, alternate pumping your heels, stretch out those calves. Stretch them out, there you go. Nice work, everyone. And then from here, drop your knees to the ground, butt to your heels, butt to your heels, head to the ground into that child pose. Child pose. So that's such. From here, I want you guys to continue to slow down your breathing. I want you to slow down your heart rate as much as possible. I want you guys to reflect on this workout, reflect on the day. I want you to think about 
all the stuff that we are grateful for, that we appreciate, even through this tough time. Um, we can always find the light in the darkest places. And with you guys being here, that shows that we are, you know, we find that light. We do what we can to help each other, help motivate each other. You guys are doing great. You guys are amazing. I want you to continue to come showing up to these things um, because we're tribe strong, right? We're bigger than this virus. Tribe stronger. Tribe stronger than this virus. Um, like I said, you guys are amazing and keep it up. You guys are great. You guys can come out of that pose now. Hope you guys didn't fall asleep. Um, hi, air high fives. Great to see you all. Good job, everyone. High fives. Nice work. Air hugs, air hugs. Miss you guys. Miss you all right. Guys. Later. Later. All right, back here tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Bye. I'll be hosting tomorrow's Zoom Wad. Everybody. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.